collectors welcome back to my channel now today for all of you I have some more screen prints to look over and review so let's get right into it this screen print is something that I wanted for a while now and it took me a while to find a good copy because apparently a lot of them um, were ship damaged so but I finally found a good one and it's the gold fingerprint by James Reem Davis and I have to say as my as this being my first official uh, bond screen print i absolutely love it it's it's wonderful in person i think what um james did for this print is is just it's fantastic um let's get into some of the detail i love um all the character likenesses and everything like that there's harold satak or sakata as odd job Sean Connery as Bond, which is my favorite um, James Bond to this day. Uh, Honor Blackman as Pussy Galore. Gert Frob as Goldfinger, of course. And we get a cool fight scene between Bond and Oddjob in the uh, Treasury Vault. But yeah, this screen print is really, really cool. Um, I usually am not a fan of like specialty type papers like gold or whatever but because of the movie and because of how it looks it really fits with this print and just really brings it to life and uh, makes it special. James also used a bunch of like silver metallic inks which you know I love metallic inks. Um, he even has some black metallics a little bit in, in the outfit here but yeah very happy with the way this uh, print is in person and I'm definitely gonna do something special to frame this because uh, it needs it I think in my opinion just you need to treat certain prints with uh, some class so I'm gonna do something special and frame this up really nicely and I can't wait to show you guys what I do with that but um, oh yeah this is also an artist proof signed by James Green Davis so very cool on that but yeah guys, very happy to have this as my first um, Bond print. I'll give you guys one last look of everything and then we'll get into the next print. print I have for all of you is uh, actually from one of my favorite movies uh, it's Scott Pilgrim vs. the world and this is the Martin Anson version of the print and I actually for as long as I've seen it this is my favorite uh, version of Scott Pilgrim vs. the world for uh, screen print wise um, I think it's better than all the other ones out there so I'm very happy to finally pick it up um, of course, it's the most expensive one out of all the Scott Pilgrim prints. Um, there is also a variant to this one where it's like the Nega Scott version, where it's and instead of the blues and pinks, you get like an all red version of this print. But, but anyways, let's get into some of the detail. Uh, it looks super awesome in person, and I don't know if the camera's picking it up yet. Is but it has a very nice uh, silver metallic layer um, which I just it makes the print stand out very nicely and gives it uh, just a sort of edge that complements it perfectly um, I love all the evil X's and they're actually numbered off too there's like four Gideon and seven so that looks really nice And then Ramona's at the top. Of course.
course, Scott Pilgrim. This is actually, I think, in my opinion, uh, Michael Sarah's best role. At least it's my favorite um, role that he's been in. So, very cool to have this print. Very happy with it. Um, I'm pretty much have bought everything new that I wanted. So, I'm going back and tracking down backlog prints that I missed out on. Um, this would be one of them. I also want to get the Negascot version. Uh, so I'm, I'll try to track that down next. And another cool part is this is numbered number one out of 415. So that's uh, pretty cool. But yeah, guys, very happy with this print. I think Martin Anderson knocked it out of the ballpark. Uh, he did a great job just with the tone and the colors and the feel of this print. Um, and this is another one of those where I'm definitely gonna send it to a framers and get something special done for it All right, so I'll give you guys one last look at this print and then we'll get into the next one We are Sex for Bob and we're here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff <laughs> print I have for all of you is actually the second commission piece that I've received and it is the Desperado print by Mad Ryan Tobin and I have to say to all of you Mad Ryan Tobin absolutely killed this uh, movie print it is so awesome in person I think it is just as good and just as great as the From Dust Till Dawn print that he made I love all the detail um, I love the fact that everything is encased within the guitar case um, just like in the movie how he had all his guns in his guitar case. So that's very cool um, Awesome likeness of Salma Hayek And Antonio Banderas, which is I think this is my favorite film that he's done. So very happy um, Like I said the detail in this print really really good Super awesome all the bullets that run throughout the print the roses the shotgun shells um we couldn't fit danny trejo's character in this print because it yeah, as you can see it's already pretty filled and uh mad ryan tobin didn't want the print to be too crowded so instead we opted for just a nod to him by having his throwing knives on the print so it's a definite nod to his character but yeah awesome print really love it this, this this thing is just absolutely fantastic i'm very happy that i can have this as a companion piece to the from dust of dawn print that i have which i will definitely hang together so maybe matt ryan Tobin will do one more print that i really really like and i can have them all together and in this sort of design with the red and the blacks, just like from Dust Till Dawn. Uh, but anyways guys, I'll give you one last look and then we'll get into the next print. Soy un hombre muy honrado, que me gusta lo mejor. A mujeres no me falta ni el dinero ni el amor. Gineteando en mi caballo, por la sierra yo me voy. Las estrellas y la luna ya me dicen dónde voy. Ay, 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 mi amor. Ay, mi morena de mi corazón. Me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el sol. All right, so the next print I have for all of you is another commission piece that I just received. And it is the Enter the Dragon commissioned by Keiko. Um, this screen print 
is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I get few screen prints where I look at it right away and I just say, that's a 10 out of 10. But this is a definite 10 out of 10. Everything about it is absolutely amazing. Um, from the detail, to the composition, to the coloring, um, all of it comes together perfectly. Um, I have to say this is probably in my top three like favorite prints of all time, purely because of just how it looks and like how well it's put together. Um, let's get into some of the detail. It, this has like really great gold leafing and gold um, metallics in it. And like cool little details like Lee repelling down from the ceiling. Um, Lee and Han's final fight in the mirror room. I love the look of the dragons. They're so cool. There's amazing detail in them. Everything about this print is awesome, like I said. Very, very well put together. There's Mei Ling. Of course, Han sitting on his throne with O'Hara on the left and Bolo on the right. And there's Tania. She looks good. There's Williams and Roper. They look really, really cool together, standing uh, side by side and fighting poses like that. And of course, Lee at the top with his nunchuck. But yeah, like I said, everything about this print so very well done. Um, it's absolutely amazing what Keiko was able to do here. I'm very, very happy to have this. It's uh, definitely one of my favorite prints in my collection now. I mean, there's only 35 of these out there, so... Pretty rare. And very cool to have. Super, super happy. I mean, look at the detail in the spear. This thing is just absolutely wonderful. And all the detail in Lee too. Alright guys, I'll give you guys one last look of this print and then we'll get into the next one. for all of you guys today is actually the number one print um, on my gray list and it is Tyler Stout's Inglorious Bastards. This was um, one of my major collecting goals for 2015 was to get this print um, and I'm absolutely ecstatic to have this baby. It is absolutely wonderful in person. If you love the movie like I do um, you'll just be completely happy and blown away. Um, but let's get into some of the detail. Uh, what Tyler Stout has done is just perfect for this print. The look, the style, um, the character likenesses, all very well done by Stout. Um, this one is signed and numbered as well. Um, I don't think I have any Stout that isn't signed or numbered, so... Well, they're all numbered, but isn't signed by him. Um... As you can see, this print has very cool, like, gold and, um, 
silver and gray metallic layers. Very awesome. The detail in this thing is amazing. I uh, love Aldo's knife. I actually got to meet uh, Diane Kruger a few years ago. She's a very lovely lady, super awesome in person, very nice. I com like I complimented her on her role as uh, Bridget von Hammerschmark, which was pretty funny. Um, there's Mike Myers there. Hitler in his awesome uh, gold metallic suit. Comes off very nice. Aldo looks awesome. There's Shoshana at the top with some German bombers. And of course the Jew Hunter. And the theater in the background. But yeah, the detail in this print is wonderful. And like I said, it's, uh, I think this is some of Tyler Stout's uh, best work that he's ever done. Just absolutely happy to have this. And, you know, just goes to show, if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. And I've always believed that, so. This was definitely something that I wanted really, really bad. And I'm just very happy to have it. Now I get the honor of uh, sending this off to uh, Frame Fetish and seeing what they come up with. So I'll make another um, video once I get this back from the printers or the framers. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, if you ever want a cool place to chat, hang out, talk about anything and everything pop culture related, check out Statue Collectors United, the Facebook page. The link will be in the description. Um. Not quite sure what I'm getting next. Uh, maybe the Rocket and Root set or the Hulk PF. One of those things. But uh, until then, guys, I'll catch you all later. And remember, as always, happy collecting.